not let your pride have an impact on your work. Compromise will bring liberty, so you have to compromise. Chris and Bo were eliminated last night. I don't think Chris deserved to go home. I think Indachio is all over the place, and I think he needs to watch it, because I think he should have gone. I felt like such a fucking pussy bitch last night. It was like... <gasps> I was just torn because I want to win this like based on my talent in the right way. Like I don't want to be vindictive. It's not in my nature. I am so grateful to get another chance. I can never, ever fuck this up. I don't think it's in any of our nature, but you know, this house kind of brings out the worst in us. Maybe Indashio now will, you know, wake up and understand that this is a competition. I'm very humbleized. <laughs> humbleized, that's not a word. Humbled. Humbled. Hi, Hi. Hi. Hello, my fabulous five. Hello. Gather up, gather up there so I can talk to you guys. Well, this week, it's all about fusion, baby, okay? okay? A celebrity stylist must be able to take two distinctive looks and blend them together to create one cohesive look. I'm going to give you guys some examples of some it Hollywood couples. First up, we've got Evan Rachel Wood. Uh -huh. You guys know her, she's real like the innocent girl next door type. And now, guess who she's dating? Yes. Golf rocker Marilyn Manson. I mean, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. So let's see how their styles fuse together. Mmm, a lot of black, huh? <laughs> Next up, we have one of Hollywood's hottest it couples, Tomcat. That's Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes, right? Let's take a look at Katie before she got married. Yeah, as you see her right there, she's very, you know, girly. Well, now let's take a look at her husband, Tom Cruise, Mr. Top Gun himself. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's see how their styles fuse together. Well, step your game up. I'm not mad at him. Seeing the examples, I definitely see the influences of one of the celebrity and the other infused together, but I feel like this is gonna be a tough one. Your hot trend challenge is to fuse together the look of a Hollywood it couple. Are you guys ready to meet ready. your models? Yes. 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 Come on up. The stand-ins walk up and they could not be more opposite. I mean, there's like the 50 Cent guy with Dita Von Teese. There's J-Lo with the Marilyn Manson guy. Avril Lavigne with this preppy guy. I mean, some crazy looks. Now, stylists, there are five yeah. hit couples. Yep. You're going to be working on your own. Yes. When Vivica tells us this is an individual challenge, I like jump for joy. I am so ready to shine, do my own thing, and this is a challenge I'm gonna excel in. All right, Brandon and Hannah, you'll be styled by Pendashio. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Adam and Elvita. You will be styled by Preston. Robo and Stephanie. You will be styled by Jess. Okay. John Austin and Catherine. You will be styled by Tiger Lily. Hi. Finally, we've got Mr. All American, Kylan, and Paige Turner. You will be styled by Handry. All right, stylist, I am going to give you 10 minutes to consult with your it couple so you can get an insight on their personal style. Tell me about your style a little bit, Adam. I notice dark and super fitted. Yeah, I usually only wear like black, uh -huh. white, red. I don't really wear a lot of colors. It doesn't fit with me. What's your style like? I love bright colors. Yeah. I love wearing bright shoes. He needs to be a little bit more dapper. I'm definitely gonna do him in a suit coat. I wanna do her in a tight black dress and then colored accessories for her to add the pop of color. Tell me about your style, Stephanie. Definitely uh, a little hip hop. Where are you from? New York. I'm Queens. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. I really love my team because Stephanie is from New York and she sort of dresses a little bit like what I like to dress like. And Robo is a total rocker and if there's anything I know, it's rocker boys. So I'm thinking for you, I, I mean, these pants are to die for. I probably can't use these, but I think I'm gonna try and find like a dusty flared jean, give you some motorcycle boots and a tight tee. So it's gonna be you guys, yet fused. What do you like about each other's style? I mean, I like her style because he can change it up and it's very diverse, so. I like his because it's 
very manly and I like that. My goal for this look is to not only make sure they keep their individual style, but also infuse Hannah with a little hip hop and Brandon with a little retro. And um, I'm really looking forward to kicking everyone's ass. Yeah, I think, I think this is gonna be hot. You are all American boy looking. You like punk. My vision at the moment is keeping the girl as she is, but try to give her like a preppy with punk at the same time. The guy, I'm gonna get him into more punk accessories so they kind of like mash together. I can't wait to see Sounds what good. you come up with. <laughs> so what do you guys do? <laughs> you know we're not couples, right? Well, no, I know. I just wanted to make it as real as possible. Generally when I style, I go on the edge of maybe just a little bit sexy. Would you would you be open to that or do you yeah, want to wear like definitely. yeah? I think sexy is good. Yeah. Sexy is good. Sexy is good. <laughs> I love wearing shorts. I'm a drummer. Yeah. And I'm I'm always sweaty and hot, so you just want less is to more. Go. This will be a challenge, but I already know what I'm gonna do. Now, he's a rock and roll guy, and I want him to look really chic. She's still gonna look like Upper East Side, but she's gonna have a little bit of rock and roll. I think the judges are gonna like my look. All right, stylists, you've had your 10 minutes to consult. Now it's time to say thank you guys for coming. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now you're going to get to go shopping. All right? You can go shopping for one hour at Jet Rag with $500. When you come back from shopping, you will have two hours. If you guys like something that your it couple is now wearing, feel free to use it. I'm super excited because I had to keep those pants. It's all about rock and roll, baby. Got one last little tidbit for you. We are going to have a guest panelist. We'll be at the red carpet eliminations. The winning look of the week will style the guest panelist, Perez Hilton. Yes. Perez Hilton is our guest judge. Like the self-invented queen of all media. It could be a really good thing or a really bad thing because he is really harsh when he has to be. And now I'm nervous. The next time that I will see you all will be at the red carpet eliminations. I will be picking the winning look of the week. Everyone is on pins and needles. This is our first individual challenge. We're nervous as hell. And I hope Andashio buckles a little bit under the pressure. I am so glad I got the best people I could have got, because if I would have got that bitch with the dreadlocks and the pink hair or the punk rock motherfucker, I would have been pissed off. Today's hot trend challenge is to fuse together fashion for a Hollywood A-list couple that are total opposites. I know that I need to set up, step up to the gate. I'm more focused than ever, and I'm more determined than ever. Yeah. Game on, fuckers. We get to go to Jet Rock and shop, you know, to have more variety. I'm looking for skirts, but I don't see any that I, my client would like. My vision for her, I want to keep the punk rock that she has already, but I'm going to tone it down a little bit, adding a preppy skirt on the guy. My vision is to keep the preppy and then add a little bit of more punk with the right accessories. Can I want of this, like the one that says Metallica? Knock, knock. Can I get these money sign earrings, please? My vision for this look, it's all about blending these different styles. Dita, AKA Hannah, she's really classic, and he's very hip hop. And as a rapper, he's very reminiscent of 50 Cent. So I'm gonna be mixing a little hip hop urban element into Hannah, and I'm gonna be giving him a little GQ retro feel to his style. You know, blending them, making sure that they're a unified couple. Where can I find some core sets? My vision to fuse this couple is to take her a little bit more rock and roll, give her some edge. For him, I wanted to make him a little bit more chic, still keeping his rock and roll, but more designer. Can I get that god punk? Thank you. $500, I plan to use as much money as I can, pull as much stuff as I can, so that I'll have a lot of options when my couple comes back. Right now I'm looking for a cute printed rocker tight shirt to go under a jacket for my guy. My vision is to really dapper him up a little bit and make him look more tailored. And for her, to fuse her with him, I want to make her more elegant, tone her down a little bit, less flavor and more elegance. I just need to find a good, good jacket. $4.99 or three. That's it. That's everything we Thank you so much. You're welcome. <sighs> 
So we get back to the house and we have two hours to finish styling the a couple. How is the girl gonna be preppy? What are you gonna add to it? Oh, accessories and stuff. Okay. He is all black and white right now and says he'd be interested in getting some red in somewhere if he could do any color. She likes bright pieces, but uh, to mesh them both together, I'm gonna give her the bright Latin flavor that she wants. And I wanna do something kind of in her hair like this. This is definitely time for me to show the glam panel how bad I wanna be here and like how talented I am and how quickly I can think on my feet and make a good look. And I just hope I have all the right stuff. Oh, what the hell? That needs to be sewn on. My process in styling is always to try on the clothes because I have to see how it fits the body. The dress for Catherine is gonna be gorgeous. She's still gonna look like Upper East Side, but she's gonna have a little bit more rock and roll. And John is gonna be effortlessly chic. He's still gonna look rock and roll, but his boots are like Gucci. I think the judges are gonna like my look. That's the dress with those shoes, those accessories. Love it. All these accessories things, and then the dude is a rocker, and I'm gonna keep his brown leather pants, which are fucking awesome, with this white shirt that has the yellow detailing to it, and a pair of cowboy boots, and a ton of fucking accessories. I didn't have much worries about the look, I felt pretty solid in that, so bring it on, sister. So what I did is I wanted to keep it very hip hop. Hip hop is actually maturing right now. I got this sleek gray suit and I kept it very retro, like her style, but I added a little hip hop flair with some like door knocker earrings and um, some like a big dookie chain for the wrist. Indachio is motherfucking crazy. Like I get it, but I don't get it. He seems to definitely have his own personal boldness to him, but I don't know if that translates to actual style. Indachio is looking. His girl looks like Britney at the VMAs. It's not a costume contest. Yep. It's not a costume my contest. My girl's not a costume. She looks fucking couture, my, right? My girls, my girl and guy are gonna look dope. It's you and me dress. about beating the other people. So Jess is my shorty in the house. I noticed she's kind of acting a little funny today with Preston, and I don't know why. Hey, man. Hey, Volker. I have a feeling they may be talking about me. You know what I mean? So I'm like, what is really good? What's really going on? Why are you talking to my girl like that? We're talking about chances and who has a chance and do we have a chance and do you have a who chance? Who do you think has the most chance? Ask your girl. I felt like it was like Monica Lewinsky and Preston was Linda Tripp. You know what I mean? I felt like they were conspiracizing against me and they should not fucking do me like that. But I just might beat you out, that's all. <laughs> you just threw a fucking curveball. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I'm being I don't even know if I can sleep next to you today. Dun, dun, dun. Jess and Preston are trying to build alliances. I think that's what really is going on. What a fucking bitch. Try to fucking play me? No. I don't even want to talk to her at this point because I feel like she is not on my side. I just want to say right now, it's final five. We're in a competition. No one's doing anything other than doing their job. I really feel like the situation is bringing out the worst in all of us. Everyone is just a little tweaked. And Dasha, it's okay to lose. Okay, hey guys, <laughs> what does this say? Indachio, at 23, hottest designer in America. All of those on your wall, every single one, talks about the best designer in America. Not one, how about this one not here? one of those how talks about, about how good of a stylist you are. This is a style competition, not a designer competition. I mean, if you're gonna talk the talk, you have to walk the walk, and he hasn't so far. You get paid to dress fucking windows, you fucking loose You're just mad because your girlfriend's on my team. I think is so jealous. I mean, Indachio and Jess are, were pretty close, and now she's buddies with me. So I think he's just pissed, and he's annoyed, and let him be. You have to make a decision right now. Me or him, who's it gonna be? Well, I'm my own person. I can talk to him at home. No. Yes. Okay, fine, we can talk to him. So you're never gonna talk to me again. I'm never gonna talk to you again. He's such an asshole. So I kind of hate him right now. You made your decision, <sighs> and I made mine. And I don't want to talk to you for the rest of this competition. The game has changed, okay? No more lovebirds. No more lovey dovey. Game recognized game, bitch. Don't try to play me. This is fucking war.
sleep good. I wake up today and I'm fucking pissed. The romance with me and Jess is over, and I realize I can't trust no one in this house. I would love to officially announce <laughs> that I am declaring war on all of you, especially Jess. I've had your back from the fucking get-go, dude, and to hear this shit is some bull motherfucking shit. So guess what? I'm declaring war on you. He's the one that freaked out and created some world around something that didn't happen, so he needs to hear it. I kept on trying to say it, and if I wasn't gonna say it, I was gonna scream it. So if you wanna go and declare war on everybody and make it all fucking weird, go ahead and do that, because that's your choice, man. Because we're gonna walk into the style thing and style the fuck out of your shit. Ooh, do it, do it. I want you to, I dare you to. I double dare you, triple dare you to. Me against the world, baby. Me against the world. It's officially on. The thing is, for us, it was officially on the day we got here, and apparently it just took you until now to realize that you're actually competing to win something. Okay, stylists, can you all come on in and gather up in a line for me? Well, stylists, today your Hot Trend Challenge is all about styling a Hollywood it couple. They should be wearing the clothes. The clothes should not be wearing them. It's all about blending and fusing the looks together. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have two hours to style your couple before we take them to the step and repeat photo shoot. So, are you ready? Yes. yes. Get set and start styling. Hi. Hey, nice to see you. Well, the look for my couple is he is definitely a rocker. Led Zeppelin all the way. She is sort of a Maya hip-hop pop princess from New York. So what we're doing is we're really keeping her polish, keeping his rock star swagger, and then it marries together in the end. What I pulled was this. Do you like it? Yeah. The dress I got is a cute little Norma Kamali top, actually, that I used as a dress. My girl had legs for days, so I really wanted to show that off with a short piece. Oh my god, I'm in love with these pants. <laughs> as for Robo, I had to keep those pants. They were to die for. So I gave him a great fitted black top with a v-neck so you can kind of get more of an elegant R&B vibe from it, and then put over a jacket. We got a couple of pants options. I think these ones go really well with it. So, um, I think this might be that one. All right, well, why don't you go try this on? My goal for this look is to infuse Hannah with a little hip hop and Brandon with a little retro. I couldn't ask for a better um, inspiration and muse. I'm doing like 50 Set and Dita Von Tees, um, AKA Hannah and Brandon. And the biggest thing that I'm gonna have trouble with is they're not at a costume party. I gotta make it wearable. You do not want the clothes to be too costumey and overpower the artist himself. You guys are definitely gonna be the best dressed couple. <laughs> so this t-shirt, cool. maybe with this on top. My couple's style is more like Avril Lavigne. She's kind of punk and just a Timberlake because he's more like a preppy icon. Nice. Yeah? To punk up my guy, I decided to add some leather bracelets and a skinny tie uh, with an open vest on top. To infuse a little more preppy on here, I'm gonna add a plaid skirt. Yeah. And then a funky shoe, but at the same time conservative. Do you like the shoes? I love I the do. shoes. I do, I really like the shoes. I love the shoes. Everything is going through perfect. The girl, I know she's in love with the outfit. Awesome. And the guy, he says that I, can, I feel that I can wear this every day. Let's go to hair and makeup. All right. Okay. Good. I wonder if you would just try this, if I can cut it. I can slash it right off, but I just wanted to pull together the look because she's gonna be sexy. Right. So my look for this challenge is Travis Barker meets Kristen Davis, just gorgeous couple. The story behind my look is rock and roll meets prim and proper. She wants to experiment and wants to go over to the, you know, the rock and roll side just a little bit. So I have to gel those two looks together. I know this is a little bit Wonder Woman, but because you have a good figure, I almost wanted to belt it. I want to bring some rock and roll over to Catherine, and it's important for me to accessorize her properly. Check out the rock. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to try this with you. Once we do your hair, do you like a cool, cool, because I think I love like your whole Latin thing happening. So my couple style is Marilyn Manson meets Jennifer Lopez. So to kind of give her a little bit of goth, I want her in a tight black dress. That's really cute. And for him, I want to make him look more dapper, lighten his face up, easy on the makeup, but in a fitted jacket. Oh my God, so cool, you look like a rock star. 
for Elvita, my girl. I've come up with a red belt, and I feel like they're really gonna like my look. Your style was the hardest to change. Right. Yeah, and hers, the black dress on her girl always looks chic. But I gotta make it a little hip hop too, so anything, maybe some like, Baby hairs, you know what I mean? Very blunt front cut band in the front, straight, 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 pin straight. What we needed to do was clean it up, straighten it, and cut it. She loves blue, and I'm infusing pops of this blue into her look. I want to do a black extended top, like a corally peachy cheek, and a corally really mm, lip Perfect. in peach coral. I also want to paint her fingernails black. Yeah, I wanted to do some sort of like thingy, but I don't want her to look like she's going to a costume like salsa dancing shipping. You know what I mean? It looks huge to me. I have a red flower headpiece, so for some reason in my mind, I'm thinking she looks like a salsa dancer. I think it's a little bit heavy. Do you think they're gonna think she looks like Hawaiian tourist or something. And I changed my mind and decided to let the hair down, get rid of the headpiece, and I don't know, I'm kind of second guessing myself. I mean, maybe I don't need to do this. I'm feeling a little scared that I made the wrong choice. <sighs> I'm feeling, I, now I'm feeling nervous. Do you think they're gonna think she looks like Hawaiian tourist or something. I have a red flower headpiece. It looked like she is a Latin salsa dancer who's trying to like goth up for her boyfriend. Maybe I don't need to do this. And I changed my mind and decided to let the hair down, get rid of the headpiece, and use a yellow belt instead of a red thing in the hair. And I don't know, I'm kind of second guessing myself. I'm a problem now. That's a game face, huh? That's right. Oh yeah, it's war. We ready. You ready? <laughs> God bless you, man. God bless you. You need to start praying. Do you need me to help you pack or no? You're good? I'm not going anywhere. Okay, I just want to make sure. Today I declared war because this is a competition at stake, $100,000, and I don't need any distractions. You guys like it? Of course I do. Okay. Did you see his you have ridiculous to wear not look? Me. Indasha will do and say whatever he can to make it seem like he's the top dog. You're so beautiful, I could have done, I would have made you look like Beyonce. That you are. <laughs> Sexy with those legs. She can put you, you please, in that frumpy please dress. Please leave my client so, alone. Jess's look looked like shit. What was she thinking? The outfit looked terrible. It looked cheap. She looked fat. The bangs, they both look whack. You make, you make a bad dress look good. I would totally see them on the worst dress list. Um, this one seems a little dull to me. Let's try this. I started second guessing myself a little after halfway through. I feel like it's a little boring, a little safe, but like it's too far along now. I don't have time to get the hair back up with the headpiece and I just have to let it go. Do, do you still feel Latin pretty? Yes. Time is up. Stylish, you've all had two hours to work on your couple. And I think you did an excellent job. But Vivica and Mel and I will be the ones to decide who really is the glam god or not. So now it's time to take your couples over to the step and repeat and let them glam it up and mug for the paparazzi. And Stylish, the next time I see you, will be at elimination. And let me remind you, one of you will be going home this evening. Go get him, y'all. My vision for this look is to make Hannah a little hip hop and Brandon a little retro. I fuse the look and it looks the hottest. I'm so excited to see that I chose the right things. He's a little bit rock and roll and she's a little bit prim and proper. So I put her in a, in a nice tunic, very short, and it had a lot of details. I kept John in his rock and roll vibe, made him a little bit classier. I gotta say, Robo is such a rock star. Stephanie was working it for days. I saw them together, and something I like to do is just sort of glaze my eyes over and see if the overall look works. Sending them off into the red carpet, I liked what they looked like. I think that I did a great job blending the colors between them. I gave him like a little preppy look with some punk accessories. But the girl, I think she was fantastic, and they look cute together, so I'm happy. I think he looks good, but I think she doesn't look rock star. And the yellow belt is just not enough to tie the two together. Overall, I'm not happy with the outcome of the look. And I just can't believe that I've gotten myself in this position. Oh my god.
One of us will leave tonight, and you know what? I'm confident it is not gonna be me, and I'm just hoping that it's one of the traitors. Welcome back, Stylus. Thank you. Thank you. And Dasha, what's your inspiration for tonight? You went to war? I actually declared war on the house this morning. Okay. There's actually been some um, traitors in the house. When Indashio tells Vivica that there's traitors in the house, he's apparently talking about me. That was really hurtful. He's such an asshole. Well, we are down to our fabulous five, that's for sure. Your hot trend challenge this week was all about fashion fusion. I asked you to combine two completely different styles and create a look for a Hollywood it couple. You are competing for the coveted title of Glam God the opportunity to be represented by a major styling agency and a cash prize of $100,000. Say hello to Us Weekly's very own Mel Bromley. A little Hi, British invasion. <laughs> Next up is a true glam god, Mr. Philip Block. What's up, future glam gods? And say hello to Perez Hilton. Yeah. Perez and I. Perez can either make or break someone's red carpet experience, and he's not afraid to hold back. Stylus, I will be picking the winning look of the week. We're going to start with... Indashio. Describe what you did. I wanted to give her a little hip hop and I wanted to give him a little, you know, classic retro look. And so it was what I did for Brandon is I gave him an old school, like, army jacket, which, you know, I thought reflected the pinup style really well. Dita, AKA Hannah, I, um, I wanted to keep it really, really sexy. I gave her some, like, huge hoop earrings, which we all know is, like, a signature hip hop style. I think that they look really hot together and I think he really fused their styles and watered him down a little bit, took away some of the bling and added her bling factor up a little bit and made it match. I would like to have seen his hat fit him a little bit better. It just sort of feels like it's about to fall off him and I know that's a bit the look, but as stylists, when you get out there into the real world, these things count. I think that they each look great individually, but as a couple, it's not quite working for me. Perez is just a hater, you know? I think that you did a wonderful job on both of them. Next up, we have Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily, tell us about your vision. John Austin, you know, he's a rocker, and he completely wanted to remain a rocker, but he wanted to just step it up, just in elegance. And he wanted his girlfriend to completely look chic, but more on the rock side. I think it, they complement each other, so, and that was the, the main aim. I, I don't get the elegance. Just because he's in black, he would probably have worn that naturally on his own. I would have loved to have seen a, a little inkling of her Park Avenue in him, but I, I liked the way he looked at him, and the red shoe, hot. If you notice, Viv, he's got the great red suspenders dangling down the back of him, so she had her shoe, matches a little red suspender. The reason someone hires a stylist is to help them do something they wouldn't do on their own, and I think you've successfully accomplished that. They look like they belong together. Next up, Preston. Tell us what you created. Yeah, so the one thing it asked of me is I want to look dapper. I, I feel like I never look dapper. And Elvita loves to show her curves, loves to have the sisters up a little bit, has the big like gold jewelry, and it and I had to kind of tone that down a little bit and then glam him up to kind of take the two and then make a new style together. For some reason it doesn't work for me, and I think maybe it's the right yellow belt. You use the keyword dapper, and I think you have a, a bit of a dapper style to you. I don't see Dapper there at all. I don't see the fusion. I don't see where her Latina influence has come to him anywhere, and I'm not really seeing his goth influence on her other than she's in a black dress. You know what I mean? And I don't see the yellow belt being goth. These two I wouldn't write about on my website because they either don't look that good or that bad. They look just good enough. Jess, tell us what you did. So Stephanie here, I really wanted to keep her essence about her, but I wanted to add the rock element of Robo. So I straightened the hair, gave her a blunt cut bang. I did a blue on the eye. I did the black nails. With Robo, I gave him a black V-neck cashmere fitted tee on top of this, you know, dark 
rocker jacket, but a, a bit more fitted. Jess, I'm sorry, I don't like it. I can't see any synchronicity between the two of them. You took the best parts about her, her body. She has a great little tight body. You put her in a sack so you don't see her body. He looks like he's got his little brother's jacket on, his little brother's hat. It doesn't fit. I don't get the synchronicity. That purse, boring. Oh. The, the bracelets, they look like they cost 99 cents each. When someone walks down a red carpet, everyone should go, wow, this is the now no factor. The panel really hated my look. I think that they were shocked at how bad it was, and I was shocked by how bad they thought it was. Well, now we're going to move on. Last but not least, we have Mr. Handry in this hot red. Handry, tell us what you created for this hit couple. So I just decided to keep her like, you know, a little bit like punk going on, but the guy take it more like preppy and with punk, a little bit punk accessories on him. Again, I just would have liked to have seen like, yeah, you put a vest on him, you put a t-shirt on and you put a white pants. I just don't think you gave him anything really punky. I'm just not feeling a big change. I think she, I think she looks better than she did. She looks cleaner than she did. I think your choices cleaned her up, but I just don't feel anything there. I don't think that either of them really have each other's fusion. I would definitely write about this outfit on both of them because they look so bad. I mean, I know that press, all he does is critique and, you know, good press, but he doesn't know anything about stylists. They look like a chaotic mess, but I actually think it works. It looks like she's like this naughty girl that's converted this very kind of, um, you know, goody two-shoes boy, and I think they work well together. Thank you. All right, stylists, I want to thank you for presenting your It Couple looks. I'm going to deliberate with the glam panel and Perez, and I will let you all know who has the winning look of the week. While the judges are deliberating, you know, all that's going through my mind is, I think my look came off okay, so hopefully I'll be safe. I'm feeling not so hot. I mean, everyone got a pretty positive critique, but Jess and I got pillaged. At this point, I feel like Preston or Jess may be going home because I hate them, and I'm just putting it in the universe, and I'm using my energy to kick them out of this house. It's interesting how the two talkative ones are so quiet now. First off, we're gonna start with Indachio. Mel, how did you feel? I loved it. I thought that they looked like they were a hot couple. <laughs> I absolutely believed it. I liked that sex appeal, but I just didn't feel as stylist. He took them up. Tiger Lily, who styled John Austin and Catherine. I also thought that was a success. I think if I were a client and you did that for me, I'd say, girl, here's a tip. Third, we had Preston. I'm afraid this was my worst look of the night. I just think they look like they could have dressed themselves, going to a prom, cute kids. His outfits and his looks may not have been amazing, but what I did like is I saw potential in him. So we're going to move on to Jess. I did not believe it. They didn't look in any way similar. I, I think she failed. Did you see the legs on that girl? Oh my they God. They were almost as hot as yours? And then she took him and took the dress almost down to her knees. So I was very disappointed in Jess this week. All of my looks have been on target and this one was just bashed. And I'm embarrassed by what the reaction was. Last but not least, Handry. I actually think that he managed to put together a very distinctive style. Those two would be the couple I would definitely write about. Guys, I've chosen my winner, and I think we also know who is the worst. I'm preparing myself to go home in this challenge, and I just can't believe that I've gotten myself in this position. Welcome back, Silas. Now, we must bid adieu to Perez. Congratulations, and, and um, there's one of you I may be hitting up later to style me for an event. Stylist, say goodbye to Perez Hilton for coming by and visiting Bye. Glam God. I'll see you soon. Right, love. Thank you, Perez. Okay, well, the Glam panel have given you their opinion. However, it is up to your red carpet diva to pick the winning look of the week. The winning look of the week goes to Indachio. 
I am so happy about having the winning look. I feel so good about myself. It's on. This is fucking war. With great success comes a great reward. Indacio, you will style Perez Hilton if you're excused to the loft. I'm feeling good because I just won, and I'm actually starting to finally realize, like, I may have a chance of winning this. There is someone that each week impresses the glam panel time and time again. Tiger Lily. Thank you. I can't believe I'm still here. I mean, I've worked hard, but, you know, you never know how these things are going to go. Tiger Lily, your excuse to the loft. All right, well, we are down to our final three. Andrea and Jess and I are in the bottom. One of us is about to go home. And I've never really been in this position before. And it's not comforting. Well, we are down to our final three. As you all know, you guys didn't have the best look of the weeks. Mel? Preston, um, I just think you could have done better. Like, it just, it, you didn't use your imagination and your creativity anywhere. And Jess, your couple just didn't look like what they were meant to be together in any way. And Handry, I was less disappointed with you, to be honest. I actually thought yours worked. Handry, you did not have the worst look of the week. Your excuse to the law. You have lived to style another day. Thank you. I was like, yeah, thank God, because I think that I really did a good job. So, Jess, what do you think happened here this week? Why is it just so weak? It's so not cohesive. This is just bad. You hid her best assets. You, you didn't even... They don't match. They don't look like they go together. And, you know, never, ever, ever, especially a sister with a body like her would cover all that up with that little granny sack on. I think there you really, really missed it with her. You know, him, if you wanted to give him a little bit of her R&B, that hat was not it. You could have given him cornrows. You could have done something. You could have took a, ch took a chance. I'm embarrassed by the judge's harsh comments about my look because I usually put a pretty good look together. Preston, your couple just didn't step it up. I, I had a vision and a focus. Can I ask you one thing? Yeah. Though? When you look at the picture, mm -hmm. do they look like something that you would have put in a store window? They look boring for a store window, to be honest with That's you. That's what I'm saying. Ultimately, there is a lot of tough competition, and both of you failed to deliver this week. This was an individual challenge, and we really, really wanted to see how each individual would work on their own so that they would have no one else to blame. Jess, keep reaching for the stars because you're not ready to style them. Thank you. Jess, you're eliminated. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wish you all very much success with this. I think that I really get caught up in my own head, and I just let that get the best of me this time, and came up with a really fugly outfit. <laughs> Preston, there is some very strong competition upstairs. You've got to push yourself if you want to become a glam god. You've lived to style another day. You're excused upstairs to the loft. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Vivica tells me I have to step it up. And I'm taking it to heart big time, or I'm going to go home. Now you want to come clean and let me know what really is going, what y'all was really plotting? I will be honest, 100% honest with you and tell you there was no plot for anything. I'll be 100% honest with you. Okay. No, but I mean, when people talk and just like, you know, we're talking about other people's work and about what we think and about how we feel and how we want to win, like, I guarantee you 100%. I can tell you that now. And she'll watch this on TV and see the same thing. <clears throat> Can't wait to see it on TV. <laughs> <laughs>